see our offense go out there and be sharp and execute on all of our assignments. Uh, be explosive, something that we've been practicing on all offseason. We plays down the football field. Uh, we're just looking to go out there and uh, just play our game. Are you more excited maybe this time around because what you saw in the preseason, the potential of this offense? I'm just excited about all the talent we have on our football team. Uh, if you look at our roster, uh, we got a really good football team. But we know. Uh, Ross is on winning football games, going out there, doing the right things, playing with chemistry, playing with uh, doing all the right things, making sure you know, we got our mindset. So we're going to look for a big game. Jarvis said yesterday about Ryan to the huddle. He's like that take charge guy. Two of them work so well. Is he a guy that's always calm? Oh, for the most part, yeah. I mean, until you get in the heat of the game and he gets excited and wants to make plays, uh, he's a guy that goes out there and plays with a lot of energy. So it's time to be calm and make sure that everybody else is relaxed in the huddle. He does a great job with it. Just glad to have that guy in our room. Mike, what's your, what's your expectations for this team this year? Well, I mean, every year it's always made, made the playoffs, and uh, I really think we got a really good shot at it this year. I mean, uh, we just know that we got to finish better at the end of the year in December. That's been our struggles the past few years, and uh, something we're going to look forward to this year. Do you feel like you're better positioned now than you've been in your, in your time here to make that playoff? Anything yeah, can happen on Sundays. You know that. This thing that feels a three point game seems like every game, but uh, we're looking forward to going out there. And uh, putting our best efforts on the field every Sunday. Pals, I know when you guys come off the field, you're worried about you know, your offensive looks and all that, but are you going to be kicking up at your defense, especially the first game? Uh, hopefully, those guys have a lot of three and out, so we miss a lot of their drives because our coach will be over there coaching us up on the stuff that we missed up on. But uh, <laughs> we'll just look forward to our defense giving us a lot of opportunities to be out on the football field, and that's a good thing when it comes down to being out. The challenge is opposing the defense. Now, you practice against these guys in training, but the opposing offensive line is going up against your D line. What challenges do they have? <laughs> Get a taste of what we've been getting a taste of this whole last month in the training camp. And that's a really good defense. Uh, I know those guys are prepared all, all through training camp for these guys. And so uh, it's going to be a good game on Sunday. Going back to my previous question, if Ryan is not calm, is it your job to keep the other calm? Uh, I think we both play a part in it, but uh, we're all professionals. And we're out there, no one's passing out. Staying up there. We've been doing this for a long time. And, uh, so we're just looking forward to us going out there and playing our, our game the way we know we can. I think. On, on a side note, just, I know you got a lot of money to worry about Sunday. Do you take time tonight to watch the opener? You know your brother's not going to be playing. Do you take time to enjoy that? I'll watch the game regardless. It's going to be an opponent that we're going to have to play during the regular season, uh, with the Patriots. So I'm going to go and uh, watch them on defense, see how they do. Uh, my brother was playing. I'll definitely be watching this game. Is it more intriguing because it is the Patriots and everything they've gone through the offseason just to see just how they look? Well, I think they got a really good football team. They're going to go out there and they're going to do the same thing the Patriots always do. And they're going to be well prepared. And, uh, we're just looking for a good game tonight. The Patriots aren't really our focus. The rest of us are. Mike, what makes you confident that Jameel Douglas is the right right guard and is ready to be an NFL starter? Well, I've seen him progress all offseason. Uh, he was a guy that came in and learned to play for really, really fast. He's a smart kid. Now, anytime you can learn to play for it and, and not have to go out there and think during the play, uh, you play a lot better and a lot faster. So that's something that I think he's done a great job of doing, adjusting from college to the NFL. And we're looking for big things out of him. The kid has a lot of talent. What, what is the strength of this game? Well, he's a smart player, but he's really heavy-handed, strong. Uh, thank you. Our coach gives him a hard time by ASU. He has all the, the strength records over there on their board. So we're going to look for him to be playing. He's strong. strong. You? Yeah, he's strong than me. Yeah, what? Yeah. Now you ask him if he's fast or not. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the athleticism that makes Mike Pass special. <laughs> of course, yeah. But he's going to be a good football player. Uh, I know every yeah, it's going to be different for him, the speed of the game on Sunday. So we're going to make sure that he's ready for that, keep him calm the whole game. I think he's going to have a big game. Mike, it's such an epic day, obviously, for the VA on Sunday. Uh, can you take me through the last nine months? You've seen the progress. Well, I know for him, it's going to be a lot of emotion surrounding him before the first play of the game. Uh, it's a guy that had a significant injury that most people really don't come back from. But that guy's battled every day for the last 10 months to get back and help his football team win football games. And so I know all of us are excited to have him out there. I know he's more excited than any of us because it's something, like I said, most guys don't come back from. Uh, but I know he's going to go out there and be the same game he's always been. Can you remember, did you go and see him at the hospital in the first few days after surgery, I just, what it was like? I just remember seeing him uh, when we came in from halftime for the Detroit game and the disappointment on his face. And, I mean, we were all disappointed because he's such a great player. You hate to see that kind of stuff happen to those kind of players. And uh, when I talked to him that, that day, he said he's going to be back. And I trusted and believed him. And, Sure and behold, he's back week one. So we're excited that he's out there. 
know, we're looking for another Pro Bowl year. Did that have an emotional effect on you guys in the second half, do you think, in that Lions game? Uh, I mean, you can re can't really say. It was so long ago, but I know it was on a lot of guys' minds. You know, it was, it was a guy like that, lead on your football team, great football player goes down. You always have it in the back of your head. But I know, um, for me, I just want to go out there and play a little, a little bit harder because I just felt like it shouldn't have happened to him. How much luck is involved in this game between injuries, fumbles, I mean, recoveries, all that sort of thing? There's luck in every football game. You see it all the time. Guys maybe, I mean, it's preparation at the end of the day because those guys go out there and they practice that stuff and it happens in the game. But uh, I think uh, winning takes a little bit of luck sometimes. When Jamil Douglas, um, you, you mentioned him about his strength and everything like that, but as far as his movement skills, and he, he was asked to pull a lot at Arizona State. Yep. So uh, do you feel like that's an added bonus for this offense? I think so. Uh, he's an athletic football player. Outside of him being strong uh, in our offense, we don't really pull that much. We ask, we ask our guys to uh, win play side and reach guys like three techniques and one techniques. And for the most part, he's done a great job with that, and that's why he's starting as a rookie. And uh, we're just happy for him. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, guys.